All right, welcome back to Newsmax Now. Memorial Day, of course, is when we honor those who have given their lives in service to our country. And this Memorial Day, we'd like to pay a special tribute to Medal of Honor recipient, the late Ronald Schur II. He received the Medal of Honor, our nation's highest military honor, from President Trump in 2018 for braving heavy gunfire to save lives in Afghanistan. Staff Sergeant Schur was an Army medic who treated his team when they came under machine gun fire and sniper fire as well. Sure fought his way through that gunfire to stabilize and then evacuate injured soldiers using his own body to shield them from enemy fire. Once he evacuated the wounded, he went back and continued fighting. Last week, Sure died from lung cancer. He was just 41 years old. Joining us today is a country music legend who has worked tirelessly to support our men and women who serve our country. Of course, his hit, God Bless the USA, is synonymous with patriotism, and he's joining us now live. It's an honor to talk to you, Mr. Greenwood. Pleasure. Thank you, John. You know, I think about that line in your song, I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. Uh, and I think about Staff Sergeant Schur and, you know, his service. And, you know, if you know anything about these Army medics, especially those who serve with special forces, this is not all that uncommon. You know, sometimes we hear about it in these Medal of Honor ceremonies, but far too often when they don't get injured, we don't hear about it because so much of that stuff is classified. Uh, but that line in that song, what inspired you specifically to write it? Well, you know, this is kind of a mixed day for me because, um, first of all, the solemnness that we have about the passing of Ronald Schur and, uh, and his bravado. I, my father served in the Navy in World War II, and uh, so I remember him as well. But when I wrote that line in the song, it was about all of those uh, who have died and fallen, men and women alike, uh, to give us the right to do what we do right now, John. And that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's you know, have the freedom to be on the news and, and, do, and do shows. Well, we were, I kind of polled our producers this morning. We were talking about the song. And, you know, I asked folks, when was the first time you remember hearing it? For me, there's something in, I grew up in Atlanta. There's something called Stone Mountain there. And they have this laser show. And they end it or they play it towards the end. And I remember being about eight years old in the 80s, uh, late 80s, and hearing those words and finally kind of realizing with the imagery uh, that this is more than just a song. Well, I've played Stone Mountain live, as a matter of fact, and I've seen the show several times with the Confederate soldiers as they march off, you know, and on their horses. It's just, it's, it's an amazing moment. But God bless you, USA has have lived for such a long time for me now. It seems like everything seems to be renewed every time we have a crisis. And uh, God bless USA is in the forefront. And this Memorial Day, I mean, you know, that I'm, we've been rehearsing for our super hit show, and within an hour or so, I'm going to go meet my band, and we have a live stream performance this afternoon at 4 p.m. Uh, Central, 5 o'clock Eastern, where we, we're actually going to do the super hits tour that we should be touring somewhere with this week, and, uh, and we're going to do it live and on, on a, live main, uh, a live stream show. So if you just kind of tell all your listeners, but, and by the way, I'm wearing the shirt that says, God bless USA, and you, interesting, you mentioned about the line. On the back of it, it says, I won't forget the men who died. So with my musicians unable to work and none of them having any any uh, any money, um, if you go to our website, legroom.com, and pick up a shirt or any kind of the merchandise, it'll help us get through this this period when they don't have any money. Well, we're going to tune in for the live stream, of course. Something great to do, of course, today. You know, a lot of people barbecuing at home. It's a holiday for a lot of folks, but a reminder for what we're really, you know, honoring and in, in you know, marking uh, on Memorial Day. And you talked about, you know, concerts have been shelved for now. Uh, CNBC reporting that the music industry losing about 25% this year. And, you know, we hear about people like you, but you, of course, have a supporting cast of, you know, working musicians, studio musicians, people who play with you on the road that aren't household names. You know, how are they doing? And when can we expect to see concerts come back again? Well, <clears throat> through my agency and through people I've uh, dealt with over the past 30 or 40 years. I mean, everybody's just kind of pushing all most of our shows down into uh, August and September. There will be more entertainment, but it's going to be sparse. Most everything's been moved to 2021, which kind of saddens me, but at least we can focus on the election maybe. And, uh, and, uh, but I know it's not going to be big crowds. Uh, I was contracted to sing at the Coca-Cola 600 uh, today, and they're going to run the race, but I'm, I'm not going to be there. Well, you know, I see some of these holograms now that are showing up. Maybe that's going to be a solution. I, we're, we're a ways away from that. But just a reminder again, the Memorial Day concert, 4 p.m., streaming on your Facebook page. We'll put a link up on the screen so folks can find that. Uh, Lee, we got to go. Um, but before we, well, we're going to go to commercial break now, but I'm hoping you can come back. I would be remiss if we didn't ask you to give us a rendition of the great song, God Bless the USA. And we wanted to dedicate it to Ronald Schur. You mind coming back with us and playing that song? 
I would be most happy to. Uh, it would be our honor for you to do that as well. All right, stick around. Lee, Lee Greenwood going to do God Bless the USA special dedication for Staff Sergeant Ronald Schur, who died at the age of 41 recently. We'll be right back after this. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.